Hey, I wanted to come talk to you while I could on this nice, beautiful, sunny day here in the South while I'm drinking my Shakeology. Um, I really want to talk to moms today because it's very important that you take care of yourself. A lot of moms these days just go and do and take their kids to football practice and cheerleading and soccer and ballet. Or they have Cub Scouts or Girl Scouts or they just get busy with birthday parties or just the everyday grind of mom I need this, mom can you deal with that? If it's anything like my family it's mom hey what's for dinner? Can we have waffles? Oh and I'm thirsty. Can I also have orange juice? And mom you didn't finish reading this and testing me on it. All within the span of about that short amount of time and that's all one kid. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that it is extremely important that you take care of your health by taking time out for yourself. If you don't take time out for yourself, then how are you going to have the time and the energy to devote into your children when they do need you? So a couple suggestions I have for you is find someone to babysit, whether that's dad, whether that's grandma, whoever that is. Try to take at least two hours consecutively, back to back, maybe once a week if you can do it every two weeks definitely and take that time out just for you go do something fun that feeds your soul that gives you energy that does that makes a world of difference in you um, is it going to the spa getting a massage is it getting your hair and nails done is it just going off in a secluded room to read by yourself whatever it is that you choose to do make sure you do it away from the kids away from whoever's babysitting them that they have a really hard time getting a hold of you during that time frame because that is time for you. That's time that you have set aside that is supposed to be for fulfilling your soul and for re-energizing you so that when you do come back to talk with your kids and to help them and to help your family and build them back up and teach them and raise them up the way they need to go you will be able to do it with no problem. You'll be able to think clearly. You'll be able to just pause and breathe those times that you want to just go, oh my gosh, and yell and scream. And you know you can't do that because then you would be throwing the temper tantrum. You need to just pause, sit back, and be able to count to 10. And you'll be able to do that if you've re-energized yourself and then your brain's thinking clearly and you're not reacting, you're responding appropriately. So that's just my tip for the day. Hopefully that will help you set aside some time. If your hubby has a problem or whoever it is that you live with has a problem with this, point them back to this video and say, look, Jessica Stone told me I need to do this and this is important. And you do need to do it. You need to be able to function. God has given you a major task to do in raising those kids and it is the job that only you can do. So do it to the best of your ability. Take care of you. Hope you have a great day and had a great Mother's Day. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.